What up campers? It's time for a classic. This is one of our favorite camp cooking meals and it's one that's always a big hit with the kids. We're doing biscuits and gravy. All right, before we go too far, I want to throw out a quick disclaimer. We are RV campers, and most modern RVs do have uh, stoves and ovens, and so if you're looking for one of those primitive camp cooking meals where I like use clippings off my beard to start a fire based on timber that I found out in the wood, um, this one's not going to be for you, so thanks for checking out the channel. Okay, so for everybody who's left, we're going to go ahead and use the Blackstone to do up some sausage gravy, and then we are going to use the oven to just follow the directions on the back of the old uh, Pillsbury biscuits. First step, get those biscuits prepped. Our oven is preheating. Camping, where even the utensils are happy. All right, let's talk ingredients. You need some all-purpose flour. We're going with the gluten-free variety for Mama Bear. You want some breakfast sausage. We sometimes have our own, but uh, the fair's not for two weeks, so we don't get any pigs. Spices. We use Penzi's breakfast spice, but you can use whatever spices you want, including the salt, pepper, or whatever. More spices. And last but not least, the holy grail, real milk. We never have real milk. Mom always gets almond milk, so this is a special treat. Very first step, start browning off that sausage. Get it nice and brown. Depending on your sausage and how fatty it is, you might want to throw in a little lump of butter. Never hurt anybody. Once you get your meat nice and brown, you can do a light seasoning, but the main seasoning comes at the end. Now we can chuck in some flour. The boss said to make sure you turn down the heat so your flour doesn't burn now that it's nice and brown. It's kind of like a roux, right? It is a roux. I was paying attention in home act. Last ingredient. The delicious cow's milk. God bless America. That's a nice thing about this one. Super quick, super tasty. The kids, again, love this one. And uh, you can be eaten in about 20 minutes. So it's been simmering for about five minutes and it's starting to get nice and thick. Just like Papa Bear. And you can see we like to leave our sausage nice and chunky, but you can obviously break it up more if you want. The other thing we normally do with this, which we're not doing this time, just because we're not that hungry, is to just whip up some quick scrambled eggs on the side. I'm just gonna do a quick hit of our breakfast sausage seasoning, just amp up those kind of flavors, plus a little bit of the everyday seasoning, which includes uh, salt and pepper, garlic, a couple other key flavors that we love. Thin this out a tiny little bit, because it'll thicken as it cools down. There we go, that's gravy. Time to go grab those biscuits.
In the biscuits, there's not much to, so we didn't record the process. You set your oven to the temperature that it says on the box. You put them on the pan and you leave them for the amount of time it tells you to. Eventually, we're gonna get to the stage where we're brave enough to try our own biscuit dough recipe and we'll try and cook them in the Dutch oven. We're not quite that confident yet. So stay tuned, we'll do that one soon. Mommy's gluten-free biscuit looks awesome. Taste test. Best 20 minutes you ever spent. Pretty close. Thumbs up, is it good? What do we think, Hobus? Um, sausage, good. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna contribute to this beautiful boyish figure that I've been cultivating for the last 40 years. So uh, we'll go ahead and leave it there. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you on the next adventure.